Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a problem from the IMO shortlist 2010 today. Um, so this is the first geometry problem on the IMO shortlist um, from 2010. So the easiest, I guess. Um, so I hope to do more um, IMO problems or IMO shortlist problems in the future. Uh, the only thing is um, I don't like problems that have too long of a solution because I feel like you don't learn too much when the solution is very, very long. Um, so if I can find other ones that don't have such a long solution, then I might also post them on my channel. Um, so if you haven't seen it before, feel free to pause the video. All right, so now I will go over it. So we have a, an acute triangle ABC. Uh, D, E, and F are the feet of the perpendiculars um, on the three sides, uh, B, C, C, A, and A, B. Um, if you draw a line E, F, uh, one of the intersections with the circumcircle is point P. Um, B, P, and D, F meet at Q, and we want to show that A, P is equal to A, Q. Okay, so first... Um, before I go through the steps, as usual, I'm going to talk through sort of my thought process a little bit. Um, so if you saw my last video on Blanchett's theorem, you, you it wouldn't be too hard to see, especially from the second proof I gave in it, that, that AF is the angle bisector of uh, QFE. Um, because in my second proof, I sort of pointed out um, why because angle AFC is 90, uh, AF has to be um, the angle bisector of QFE. Um, so in my last video, I proved Blanchett's problem for any point on the altitude CF, but it's actually very easy to prove it if H is the orthocenter, um, as it is here. Um, so I'll get to that later in, my, in the playback, but for now I'm just talking through sort of what I'm thinking. So, AF is the angle bisector of QFE. Um, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it looks kind of weird having just point P, but not having the other intersection with a circle. So I'm going to add um, the other intersection point G. Okay. So um, the problem asks to prove that AP is equal to AQ. Um, but that would be the same as showing angle AQP is equal to angle APQ. And because this is a cyclic quadrilateral, angle APQ has to equal angle ACB. So really, we want to show that angle AQP is ACB. Um, or in other words, AQB is ACP. But we know that ACP is AGB. So we have this interesting arrangement. So we want to show that we want to show that AGB is AQB, um, and we know that um, from what I said on Blanchett's theorem, AFQ is AFG. So basically, we want to show that these triangles QFB and FBG are congruent. Uh, so that's kind of what my goal is going to be here. Now, if that were true, that they were congruent, um, so that, then that would mean that FB would be the angle bisector of QBG. So, so, it, so because of that, um, FB or BF would have to meet um, the circle at the midpoint of PG. So that's that's what we're that's what we are going to want to show. We want to show that. Um, BF is the angle bisector of PBG, and so we want to show that A is the midpoint of arc BG, PG. Now, some people who are really good at geometry, um, sort of experts, might kind of already see why this is the case. Um, so, first I'm going to draw on the, the circumcenter of uh, the triangle ABC. So, if we want to show that A is the midpoint of arc PG, um, one way to do that is to show that PG is perpendicular to AO, where O is the center of the circle. And so that's the approach 
um, I'm going to try to go with. And for people who are really good at geometry, they might just know that AO is perpendicular to EF. But I'm going to sort of go through the steps here just to show the way that I think about it. Um, and if any of you have an easier way of thinking about it, you can let me know in the comments. Um, so I'm going to draw a line AO. And now I'm going to do a little angle chase. So uh, angle OAC, uh, first of all, that's an isosceles triangle. Uh, triangle OAC. So the angle OAC has to be half of 180 minus AOC. And AOC is twice angle B um, because uh, any inscribed angle is half of the, the intercepted arc. So OAC is 180 minus AOC, which is one eight, half 180 minus 2 angle B. And that's 90 minus angle B. But 90 minus angle B is angle BAD. Okay, so OAC is BAD. That's step one. Um, and then the next step is to note that BFEC is cyclic, and that's true because angle BFE is angle BEC, which is 90 degrees. So since we know that that's cyclic, um, in any cyclic quadrilateral, each angle is equal to the exterior angle of the, the opposite angle. So angle AFB has to equal angle ACB, and angle AEF has to equal angle ABC. Um, so that means that triangles AFB and ABC have to be similar. These are all, to people who do geometry a lot, this is kind of a well-known fact. Um, but for those who aren't as um, I guess up to that point, um, I'm kind of spelling it out here. So, so triangle ABC is similar to triangle AEF. And I put here line AD corresponds to line AO. So what does that mean that they correspond? Um, basically, um, it's kind of like triangle AEF is similar to ABC, but with a reflection. So you'd have to do a little flip um, sort of over the angle bisector um, for EF to be parallel to BC. Um, so basically, because we know that EAO is BAD, um, basically if we flipped triangle AEF over the angle bisector of A, um, and, and we flipped AO over the angle bisector of A, then AO would end up coinciding with AD when we did that. So there's there's like a reflection principle going on here. So since AD is perpendicular to BC, um, if we flip the whole figure across the angle bisector of A, we would end up having AO is perpendicular to EF. So I'm going to write that there. So since AD is perpendicular to BC, we have to have AO is perpendicular to EF sort of by doing a, a flip over the angle bisector. Um, so I might have skipped over, uh, some of you might say that's a little hand wavy. It's not too hard to formalize. So um, I'll let you think about that if you really want to try to figure out how to formalize that. Um, but since AO is perpendicular to EF, then AO has to be perpendicular to, to PG. So from there, we can easily see that AP is equal to AG. And we're well on our way to solving the problem. Um, okay. So if AP is equal to AG, then we have that A is the midpoint of arc PG. And so BA is the bisector of angle PBG. Um, so I've written that here. So angle QBA is equal to angle PBA, which is equal to angle GBA, because BA has to be the angle bisector. Um, and so my ultimate goal is I want to show that triangle QBF is congruent to triangle GFB. And so I have one of the pairs of angles is equal, QBA and GBA. Um, side BF is equal. Now I want to show that angle QFB is equal to angle GFB. And I'm going to do a little angle chase um, 
but it's kind of like proving Blanche. So if you knew Blanchett's theorem, this would be kind of easy because um, Blanchett's theorem basically would show that AFE is equal to angle AFE um, is equal to BFD. That would be Blanchett's theorem, which is equal to AFQ. So that then it would follow. So if AFE is equal to AFQ, then clearly uh, BFQ has to equal BFG. Um, but if you don't know Blanchett's theorem, I'm going to prove it here through a little angle chase. So we have angle QFB is 180 minus angle BFD, which is 180 minus angle BHD. And um, yeah, so I used here that quadrilateral BFHD is cyclic, and that's because uh, BFH is 90 and BDH is 90. Um, so I kind of skipped a step here when I said BFD is BHD. Um, so forgive me for that. And then BHD, 180 minus BHD is 180 minus AHE. And then again, AFHE is cyclic. So 180 minus AHE is 180 minus AFE. And that is uh, GFB. So we have that QFB is GFB. And so that's enough to show that triangle QFB is congruent to triangle GFB uh, by angle side angle. Because we, we have this obtuse angle here is equal. FB is obviously common to both triangles. And I showed earlier on um, that uh, this step that QBA is equal to GBA. Um, so QFB has to be congruent to triangle GFB. And then we're essentially there, because if that's true, then AQ has to equal AG. And we said before, AG has to equal AP. So that solves the problem. AQ is equal to AP. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.